Hey guys and girls, in this video I'm going to talk about where are your potential customers? Where are they hanging out? Well, right now I'm hanging out at the mall um, here in Tennessee and I actually haven't been to the mall in a really long time. And I, I'm really surprised. Um, it's real slow, but it's lunchtime so people are coming to the mall to run errands and eat. I had to come and bring my husband's suit coat back that didn't fit, that he wore to a funeral. So, um, I am at the mall. And you know, I grew up at the mall and this is where the customers used to be. Um, hi Leonardo, how are you? How are you today? Uh, thanks for being here. So, um, where are your customers hanging out? Well, if you're an offline store, you used to have customers come to you, but I saw on the news today where another major real retailer is closing. Hi Marina, how are you? Martina, nice to see you. And uh, another, another um, major store is closing. And it's really, really sad to see that. I mean, so you have to realize and you have to go with the trend. Everything's going online. Everybody's online. They're on Facebook. And Leonardo's asking, what if my customers speak Spanish? No problem. Then you do everything in Spanish, Leonardo. You do everything in Spanish. You do um, your Facebook lives, you do your Facebook page, you speak to your customer. And that's great. You know, there's a marketer and his name is Alexand Alexandro um, and he's Italian. He's actually dominated the Italian market in the United States by going live on his Facebook page in Italian. You could do the same thing in Spanish. You could do the same thing. So you would, you would niche down to the Spanish speaking people because there I don't know anybody who's doing that and Alexandro you know got the two comma club award for doing that he did um, Kindle publishing in the Italian niche so that's a great question um, don't let anything stop you okay so that's actually an asset to be able to serve that market that most of us cannot so you're bilingual um, ability is actually a great asset yeah it's a perfect it's a it's a perfect idea absolutely perfect so instead of it looking at it as po possibly a negative look at it as positive that's positive and all of you who are watching this live and later on the replay I want you to realize that you have an audience you have customers looking for what you have to offer too and they're looking um, they're looking you know where they hang out now you think about Facebook I don't know if you realized it or not but you can use Facebook just like I'm using right now as a marketing tool where people are and you can use um, the chat box I'm sure you're on somebody's chat box list and I'm about to set up my chat box again because it is so effective I mean I was driving along and boom a message came up you know that I'm on their chat box list and it went straight to my phone so you're going to be able to access your potential customers straight into their handheld device no matter where they are if they're at the mall if they're at work boom they're gonna get a notification you got a message okay it's it really is better I love email but it is better than email but again you want to build your email list because if Facebook went down or Facebook suddenly decided hey we don't like um, these chat box chat bots I said box but it's chat bots anymore you would have your email list so you always always want to first ask for someone's email list email email to put them on your email list okay I hope that makes sense now I have been um, really torn for the last six months about teaching how to get your affiliate link in a way that you can duplicate it and see my favorite platform is actually YouTube but I realize a lot of people are never gonna want to go on camera maybe you know you're shy or you don't like your voice or or like um, you know you're you may have an accent I have an accent but um, it doesn't matter <laughs> I'm just gonna do it and you have to get out of your comfort zone but a lot of people will never be able to get out of their comfort zone enough to make a video so what's the next be best thing so I've decided I'm gonna teach since I'm a former teacher I'm gonna teach your sorry um, I have a phone call coming in how to use your 
my daughter's trying to call me how to use a Facebook page as a marketing funnel as a marketing funnel you are okay so excuse me so anyway I'm gonna show you how to use your Facebook page as real estate where people are already hanging out and you can actually use your Facebook page in a way that is um, you know acceptable to Facebook to put people into either a Facebook group or a Facebook fan page where um, you can actually grow your audience grow your influence uh, you don't have to do lives you can publish every day with posts and uh, as long as you're active in there and interacting with people you know it is golden so I hope that helps Martina and Leonardo and does, if that sounds good to you just put yes that sounds great uh, because a lot of people never want to go on camera and I get it so there's other ways to get p your potential customers to see your affiliate links and I'll be teaching how to do that okay so if you like this please give me um, a thumbs up or give me some love I appreciate it I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Remember, never give in, never give up. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.